Hi, welcome back to my shop. First and most importantly, how you doing? It's been a strange month, there's no doubt about it. People are really stressed and I really, really, really hope that you and your families are doing okay. Before we go on, let's just remember to hold our loved ones close. Make sure we reach out to our friends, without a doubt. Just because we have physical distancing doesn't mean we shouldn't be social. So use whatever technology you got and make sure you're checking in on your loved one and your friends, all right? Anyway, so let's talk about the project. Welcome back. Welcome back to the shop. Welcome to part two of the locking scotch cabinet. This is a process-based video just like the last one, so I'm just gonna go through the steps and show you what it looks like at the end. If you have any questions about the project, make sure you leave some comments down below or ding, ding, surprise, I have a new email address. You can reach me at scott at thecraftywiener.com. Yeah, I actually have a domain. So make sure when you're typing the Crafty Wiener that you giggle like a middle schooler because honestly, I kind of giggled myself when I made it. I want to give a huge thanks to the person that put comments uh, on my last video and reached out to me on Facebook and said, hey, um, uh, you can't put scotch bottles level. It'll eat through the cork. It'll cause problems with the liquor. I made these bottle holders, which is really a fancy term for a scrap walnut that's laying around, and I cut it into a nice rectangle so you can prop the bottle up. So without further ado, um, let's get to building. Well, we're not really building. I guess we are building, aren't we? We're building and blinging out the locking scotch cabinet from Asada Tactical. Oh, and don't forget, if you like what you see here, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's get moving.
Let me tell you why it's dangerous to have your children in the shop with you. Sunday night, my 17-year-old daughter came down to hang out in the shop with me. She never comes down to hang out in the shop. She just showed up and we ended up working together. She helped me pour the resin uh, for the lid. And I figured, well, this is a good teaching moment. This is bonding. We're going to do this. And in the end, I was having so much fun talking to my daughter. We doubled the resin. It ended up becoming cloudy. I had to sand it out three times and redo it. The reality is it cost me three days worth of time. Um, and it's probably $150 in lost resin. But you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world.
Thanks for hanging around and watching this project, being part of the build. Uh, it was, like I said, a lot of fun. I hope you learned something. I hope you were inspired. If you like what you saw here, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button. And while you're at it, check out a couple of these other videos that I've got on my channel. See you on the next one.